Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. I really, really love this space. It's in a really cool spot, but we did spend a lot of resources making it. Today, I would like to probably expand the base. I need to go on a shopping list. I need wide leaves and rope, along with like a million other things. I would like to work on my sustainability um, on this island. Also, I've noticed that you can get these like reward perks for making certain things. So I can now make the coconut rainwater collector. All right, and the oh, the reason I can make it is because I made a coconut flask. So, but again, I need wide leaves. Is it raining? No, it's just the sound of the... I'm gonna have to sleep though, for sure. Um, So I wanna work on water. I think water is gonna be a real problem. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna go ahead and check out these trees and see if there's any coconuts left on them. Uh, yeah, restore. I gotta get all these coconuts off these as soon as possible. So they restore. I should probably take the dates as well. But I don't think I'm going to. Alright, so yeah, we don't have any water in the area. That's a problem. Um, I think I will probably head down... I'm gonna head down the beach that way. And look for more... I can see some right now. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. Grab this and this. And I would like to, uh, get my water up before I go to sleep. So that way, you know, I get all the awesome bonuses and stats and everything like that. So let's go ahead and turn this into water and drink it. And then I'm going to go to character. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to place this down. Um, I'm not really sure where to place this down. I guess I'll place it like over here. Seems like a pr pretty good spot. There we go. And then I can I dump stuff in it? Yes, I can. Yeah, I just want to dump some stuff in it right now. I don't have what I need to make it because I'm, I'm missing the wide leaves, but... Okay, so we're looking good now. I think we are. Let's go ahead and sleep. And I would like to sleep pretty much till nighttime. Um, I don't really love going out during the night, but... Oh, crap. I can't go out now. Son of a bee with the freaking water. Ah, the water. So anyway, this is what I'm talking about right here. We have these um, these uh, survival abilities, and I need these um, P points. <laughs> and the way to get those is by making stuff. Like the uh, palm juice collector. Uh, I need wherever that is. Um, a bamboo stick. Oh, I gotta find some bamboo. I think I know where there's some bamboo. But right now I'm just gonna try and sleep. I don't want to sleep too much, but let's sleep every two hours uh, to see if the rain goes away. Yeah. I think the rain usually stays for about six hours, it feels like. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll go one hour. See, I'm trying not to waste sleep time, you know? Alright. One more hour. Okay, I guess we're stuck in. I mean, I can go outside and do stuff. Yeah, I can go outside and do stuff. Also, um, I'm going to turn up the brightness anytime it's dark because some people are complaining about the brightness. Um, I'm okay with the brightness. I can see all right, but I'm trying to make, you know, videos here for you guys. So if you can't see, then what's the point, right? Another thing I'd like to make, there's some kind of uh, like cart or something. I'm not sure if it's called a cart. It is called a cart. So this right here, we need to get a split log. We could do a split log. Might even be able to do that right now. That's a log cart, and that's a regular cart. Honestly, I'm probably gonna want both, but you know, for now. So here's the deal. Um, I moved everything over here, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. I moved the fire over here, and I moved the chests over here. And I do have some stone. I do have massive stone, but I'm wondering if I'm gonna need that for something important. If not, I will break it apart. So let's see what we need for the massive stone. Yeah, the blade axe. Uh, oh, boy. I don't know what we need to repair. What do we need to repair the saw? Because repairing the saw is going to be super important. So saw, I'm not going to repair it, but I want to see what I need to. Okay, to use regular stone to repair the saw. Okay, I'm going to break this stone. Uh, there we go. Oh, cool. Partially cloudy. Very good. All right, I'm going to make the cart, man. Let's make the cart. So, carts. And I guess you make it when you have everything, so we got to split the log. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to cut down one of these trees. And I'm not sure which one to cut down. I guess I'll cut this one down. I'm not going to have enough um, durability in my axe to cut it down, unfortunately. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, that's... No, you know, I don't want to cut that one down. Yeah, we'll cut this one down. Do I, can I do it? This? Yep, there we go. Cut it down. And we got one log for that. I wonder if these things will grow back. That would be nice if they did. 
There we go. And I believe we needed a split log for the cart. Split log. All right. And half log. That's a split. That's a split log. All right. Hopefully that's what I need. All right. Got a lot of blueprints unlocked there. Cart. And there we go. We just need some sticks and rope. I don't know if I have enough rope. I might not. I mean, I use a lot of stuff to build, you know, things. I'm um, not seeing any rope in there. I got the cart done, but I really have a problem with thirst right now. And the cart does slow you down. And I'm not going to be going far. So let's just go over here first. Get ourselves some, you know, some uh, coconuts. So we can deal with our thirst. And then we're going to go out and get some wide leaves. It's crazy how much wide leaves are a problem. Like, just, just insane. Um, there we go. We got one right there. I'm just looking for coconuts. That's a date tree. I'm pretty sure this is the, yeah. You'll know the coconut trees because you see the, all right, there's one. All right, and we'll take this one as well while we're here. And F, we'll do two, two of them. And space bar, space bar, beautiful. Okay, cool. I'm gonna grab a few more. Just, you know, that's part of the, Oh, insufficient tool durability. Okay. Stone is going to be a problem too. Because stone is what I use to obviously get those coconuts and everything. So, not really sure where I could get more stone. I'll have to keep a lookout for stone for sure. Alright, let's get back and get the cart. And then we're going to go looking for some wide leaves. Alright, let's go ahead and use this thing. Oops, you got to press F to interact with it. And there we go. It slows you down, but it honestly doesn't slow you down that much. It's a... Uh, it's a really useful uh, tool, for sure. We need to get as many big leaves as possible. Big leaves for days. We also need rope. Rope is going to be really important. And then and then and then the other things. It's it's funny with the way, with the way stuff spoils in this game. Like you you kind of want to get food, but you don't want to get food all the time. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's pretty pretty interesting in that way. Also, people told me that on the big cartographer tree. I think they mean I think they mean the big cartography tree. Um, in the comment section, they said I missed a bird's nest or something. So I'll have to try and remember to check that out at some point. Get feathers or some eggs or something. So we'll have to see how that goes. I probably won't do it today, but what I'd like to do is hit that second cartography tree over there. Um, unfortunately, though, I didn't bring any rope with me, but I can get the stuff to make rope. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. These right here were fruit trees. I grabbed all the fruit when I came through here last time. And we have to watch out for the those little I forget what they're called, those rat tail dog things or whatever. Alright, so there's the cartography tree over there, and there's the one right there. We're gonna go I'm gonna go straight for that cartography tree. And I need to keep a lookout for I get, even then I forgot about big leaves. I'm like, what am I looking for again? I wrote it down. So Alright, big leaves, where are you? careful I don't think this thing's marked on the map either so I got to be careful not to lose this um this cart can I get stuff within nope you gotta put down the cart is it the cart showing on the map no maybe it will be if I have it in a spot where I've already like you know used a cartography ability right. it is getting a little dark in here there's the tree I left my cart right next to it, and then over here is a tree that's going to give me the vines. The, uh, liana. Uh, yeah, scorpions. Ugh. Stupid scorpions, get the hell off me. I think when you when you get the scorpions on you, you want to move away from the tree, because then they'll, if you drop them right at the tree, they'll be there after the fact and get you again. I don't know if that's still the case, but I'm pretty sure it used to be the case. All right. And, oh, we need one of these leaves. Where are they? There we go, right here. I'll just take two, because why not? And then we're going to go ahead and F and make... The, wait, what? I hit the wrong thing. There we go. F and make the rope. Look at that. I didn't even hurt myself. Look at me go. And I know it's extremely dark. I'm going to brighten this up in editing. There's not much I can do about it. I mean, I guess I bring a torch, but the torches don't even seem that good, to be honest. I'm pretty sure there's a snake around this place, but I, I 
don't know. Right. I, I keep thinking I gotta press E to walk up this thing. Cool, cool. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this in the dark, unfortunately, but I'm gonna, you know, see. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. <sighs> well, maybe. Nope, that's what I thought. It's too dark. Wait, press T to skip time? Wait, what? I can do that? Sleep stats. Sleep on the ground. Oh, yeah, I have to sleep on the ground, though. Wait, what? Okay. Not really sure about that, but <laughs> now, that <it's, laughs> now that it's daytime, <laughs> let's go ahead and do the brightness. Wow, what a view. Holy crap. All right, now we can do some mapping. All right, so it's going to take three hours. Really, three hours, huh? Mapping range is 361. Current altitude is 120. Mm, sounds pretty impressive to me. Let's go ahead and do some mapping. And there we go. Look at that. What is that? Chronicles. Oh, I need to get Chronicles. Um, special object? Okay. Got some peccaries. Uh, peccaries are okay. Boars I'm a little bit worried about. You scroll in, you get even more stuff. So we've got um, big branches. Liana, I mean, this is this is great. Okay, cool. Now let's see if we can get down this in one piece. I think you, yep, you press W to go down. I would think press S to go down because you're kind of pulling back, but W is what works. That is awesome. We can stay out here because we've got room for more stuff. There we go. All right, cool. Um, let's be careful. I, I could have swore there were snakes around here. They might have changed it. I mean, there's been updates since a few updates since the last time I played. All right. So the cart does show up on the map, by the way, as long as you've uh, checked out the area. All right. So I'm going to go for that Chronicles thing. And that is directly this way. And then I, I need to go home at some point, too, pretty soon. And the reason I need to go home is because I'm I'm making that water, water catch, rain catch thingy. But while I'm out here, I might as well continue looking around. We probably shouldn't run, though. Oh, those are big leaves, right? Yep. There we go. This game does something that not, of a, little, not a lot of other survival games do, and that is use time as a resource. Now, some games, a lot of games do use time as a resource, but this game uses it in a different way. It's like, if you're going to do something, it's going to cost one to three hours or whatever, and that time is really important in this game because food and water is so scarce. And if you get caught out in the rain, you're going to get the flu. If you get caught out in the sun, you're going to get sunburn or whatever. And that's not good. So, uh, you know, th that time really means something. And it's really one of my favorite things about this game. I'm not going to lie. Like, you have to be careful on what you're going to do. Yeah, I want to I wanna harvest those bushes over there. But if it takes a amount of time, I might not want to do it. So what do we have here? I see some stones. I see a way up the mountain. I want to go up that mountain, but it just doesn't make it doesn't make sense for me to do it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and interact with this, and there we go. And we've now got a point to spend. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna spend it on. I'm gonna kind of look at. Well, I should probably here. Let's take a look. All right, concentration. Um, I'm gonna take a quick look through these. A very quick look right here. The first one unlocks concentration mode uh, available with V in this mode. Special objects, weapons, ammo dropped, bags are highlighted. Then we've got um, reduces the risk of getting disease, reduces the risk of um, chance of getting indigestion. Uh, eating water containing gives plus five bonus food. Gives uh, eating nutritious food gives plus five bonus um, food bonus. Actually, this one's five water bonus. This one's five food bonus. We've got increases the recovery rate when sleeping. Um, gives ten percent earned skill bonus and unlocks buffalo potion recipe. This is I'm gonna look into this. I'm not really sure. Honestly, what a lot of that stuff means. So some of it, you know, some of it I know, you know, food bonus, water bonus. But there's some of that stuff, like buffalo potion. Like, what does that even mean? First of all, let me make sure I got that right. Did it say buffalo potion? That seems really weird. All right, here we go. Unlocks the buffalo potion recipe. Okay. Snake potion recipe. Jaguar potion recipe. I don't know. What, I don't know, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of hold off and see about that. Let's go ahead and grab some five stones. Now, I would really love nothing more than to climb this mountain, but I think that's going to have to wait till next episode because I need to go home and make that water collector ASAP. And I think I've got just about everything I want over here. I think we're going to just kind of head home at this point. 
And I will continue grabbing wide leaves anywhere I see them. Those aren't wide leaves. And let's come through here. Just kind of be careful. You go a little slow. Because you don't want to pop up on a snake or nothing. Okay. Alright. So I think that'll bring me right back to home. So I'm going to continue looking around in here for other resources. Um, I know I'm going to need a lot of... The I don't know if I'm going to need yellow flowers. Here, let's harvest the yellow flower. Or a yellow um, leaf and see what it does. Yeah, it's just for the smoke signal, so I'm not even gonna get those anymore. I don't even know if they're I don't even think they're used for anything else. So let's come through here. Does this look like something? No. I always think these are aloe vera like leaves I could pick, but no, you can't. I would Okay, I didn't like the sound of that. There used to be um a hawk that would come down and try and kill you in certain spots. So I gotta be careful with that. Let's go ahead and drop all this stuff in here. And then we're going to, I'm going to go in. I'm going to leave the, um, I'm going to leave the thing right there. The car. I can see it. No problem. I would like to come in here. I'd like to get some more long sticks. And possibly big branches if I could. We'll just kind of see. Let's take a look at the map. So the big branches are right in front of us. Yeah, I think I'm going to get some big, big branches. What do long sticks look like? Oh, right over here. Okay. So there are some long sticks over there, but that might be a little bit farther away than I'm willing to go right now. But I do need long sticks. I probably need more than big branches, to be honest. All right, fine. I will try and go over there. I remember this. These um, these things got to go. <laughs> these uh, bushes are in the way of the path, so I've got to actually cut them down. There we go. And do I have to cut some more down? Yes, I will grab the sticks out of there. F. And then we will cut these down. Beautiful. All right, that should be good enough. I, re I remember this. Okay. It's all starting to, you know, come back to me. I don't know if those will hurt you or not. They look like they'll hurt you. So there's like a little path here. So I'm going to keep... Honestly, the path might take me right to the sticks. So as long as I don't see anything crazy in here that's going to try and kill me, I am definitely going to go for those sticks. Oh, boy. Hold up. Speak of the devil. There you are. Ow. Damn it. Got my timing off. I should have used the spear, honestly. I'm gonna make a better spear, too. I'm having trouble getting stone, you know? What the heck is that? That looks like a giant nest for, like, a giant eagle. Probably want to stay away from that. Right, that's a peccary. Harpy. Yeah, the harpy might be the problem. Yeah, so we gotta go this way for long sticks. And I'm, I'm seriously concerned about that harpy. Oops. What the heck? Yeah. Alright. Well. Oh boy, hold on. Does that mean it's getting cloudy? Might have to head home soon. If I could find anywhere to get underneath a canvas, I could, uh... I'm sorry, just... I'm, I'm concentrating. There we go. And the axe broke. That's a, that's a shame. But that's okay, because that's what I'm here for. Long sticks. And I could just make another... another did I say axe? I meant spear. Spear. Oh, wow. Hold on. I'm going to make a better spear. I don't see a reason not to. I'm going to take all of the... Oh, boy. Ah! None of a biscuits. I knew it. Yeah! All right. I got to... I'm going to come over here. Maybe I'll be a little bit more protected. Okay. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, all right. So, you, F, you... Um, uh, okay, that was weird. It wasn't showing up and then it was making it. I didn't make a double click to make it. F and stone spear. Oh, I need the workbench for the stone spear. Darn it. All right, I'll just deal with the axe for the rest of the time I'm out here. I'm going to head home right after this. All right, please don't. Ah, stupid axe. Okay, hold on. 
We need five, negative five. And now we can either repair it or make a new one. I don't see any reason to repair these. Because anytime you repair something, it basically takes a hit on durability. So I don't really see a reason to repair them. Because it takes a stone. The, the, the only difference in repairing them... Here, you know what? I'll talk about it in a moment. The only difference in repairing them and crafting them is it takes one more stick if you craft them. And I think it's not worth the durability hit to save one stick. And all my stuff is broken as well. Alright, I need to eat and drink and maybe make a place to sleep. Came home, set up the water collector. It's been raining quite a bit since then, which is really nice. So I just come over here, and I drink till I can't drink no more. And I also have these coconut flasks. I made an extra coconut flask, and now I have, I have two. And I'm full of water. Both of these coconut flasks are full of water. I think I'm going to just try and sleep till the rain's over. And then I would like to go out and get some more stone and maybe, um, you know, start stocking up on stone. Because I definitely want to expand my base. I don't think we're going to get to it today. But let's go, let's go exploring down this beach. Why not? Uh, let's drop off some stuff we don't need. I'm not going to bring my, my thing with me because I don't... Well, I probably should. Go ahead and drop these, these, and these. There we go. And let's go on down this beat. Oh, there we go. Now I can run. Felt really slow. I mean, I know I'm going to be slower with a, with a car, but still, it felt really slow. All right, so I am at the point now. I remember this back in the day. I am at the point now where water is not the issue anymore. It's going to be food. You know, I, I mean, I could be wrong about that, but this is what I remember from last time I played. At some point, water is not going to be your problem. So I think next episode, I really like to climb that mountain and maybe do some mapping from up there. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be mapping from. People are like, just climb mountains. I'm like, this isn't a game where, this isn't the kind of game where you just go off climbing mountains, dude. Like, um, next thing you know, you have you no water, no food, you need to sleep, and you're up on a mountain somewhere. <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster. So I will climb some mountains, but I'm just, you know, I'm going to be a little bit careful about it because this game, you know... When stuff goes bad, it goes really bad really quickly. Oh, look at that. What's up there? I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check that out. I also have to figure out how to how to deal with when I'm out when I'm out in the world when it starts raining because you know, I'm going to that's another fishing hole by the way. When I'm out there and it starts raining, I'm going to need a place to get I'm going to need a way to get out of the rain, you know. Um, ooh, a lot more trees down here. That's good. A lot of coconuts there. Like grab some of the way back. I'm, I want to check out this little, this little stone structure here, see what this thing's all about. Cause there's something on the map that says go here. Like I gotta go here. Um, I don't think I'm quite there yet, but I don't know. Maybe I am. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? But yeah, I think I'm gonna climb that mountain next episode. So that should be pretty cool. I'll get some bamboo while I'm up there. Oh, what the heck is that? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we got a stone. Beautiful. This is what I need. Honestly, more than anything else. And let's just dump it in there. And let's come on and take a look over here. This is a little dark for my taste. So I... Oh, it's already brightened up. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I'll, um, I'll brighten up while editing. Uh, here's something over here. By the way, I did make a stone spear. Where is he? Can't see him. All right, hopefully he doesn't attack me in the back. All right, what is this? There we go. Got another point to spend. Again, if you guys have any ideas on where I should put the points and how these points work and what's best and what's not best, that would be fine. I'm going to hold off for a while. I'm thinking going for hunger might be the... I'm kind of leaning towards going for hunger. Like stuff that's going to help with hunger. What is this? Uh, you learned a new way to open up the next region. Open up a map, a new region. Uh, map? Okay. I don't know about new region. Um, this? Regional map. Okay, I'll look at this stuff later. <laughs> I don't want to read all this stuff right now. That is pretty cool, though. 
Open up a new part of the map. I'm going to look for some more stone and some more food. Just hunting some crab down here so I can go home with some food. And let's grab this guy right here. Boom! Gotcha, crab. What else do we have down here? How far do I want to go? Uh, I think I'm going to head back. Yeah, let's head back. All right, guys, I'm going to head back to my base. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next episode. I did see a way to climb up this, this cliffside. Remember where I saw that big picture? Uh, well, I'll show you right now. By where I saw that big picture, to the left, there's a little winding path that looks like it goes up the mountain. So I was thinking maybe we could go up that way tomorrow, uh, next episode, maybe some other way. I'm not really sure. I am going to have to think about how I want to get leather because my bag is, is not looking too good. And I am going to need pieces of leather for that. I... Don't even know if I have any leather at home. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like I should have got some off the boar, but it could have rotted away. I, I don't know. All I know is there's a leather tanner. So if I could go maybe kill some boars, get the leather tanner or whatever, maybe I can repair this backpack. That would be awesome, but we'll have to see about that. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.